me find some nice lighting. Okay, this is decent enough. Good morning. Um, so I've been up for maybe an hour and a half or something and I decided to vlog. So here we are, welcome. Um, what have I already done this morning? I went to the kitchen, fed the cats, I did the dishes, I talked to my mom for a little bit, um, and then I made this like probiotic powder. I didn't make it, I just put it in my water and then you drink it. So I'm drinking that right now and I'm just doing a little morning movement to try and wake up my body. That's like one of my goals this year is to be more consistent with moving around. I feel like I've done pretty good about that in like the last couple of years, but particularly last year, I really fell off with it. Um, I think that like moving houses threw me out of whack and everything and then I just never got in the swing of things and then I had my cats and they took up a lot of my extra morning time, um, meaning the mama and the baby cats that I was fostering. Um, so that's what we're getting into right now for like my movement and stuff. I really don't follow anything. I feel like it's best for me to just do what I want to do. That usually is just, oh, <laughs> that usually is just like stretching. I don't even know what you would call the workouts. Like we used to do them in dance. It's like low impact kind of workouts. Oh, the squirrel, cute. Um, you'll see, I'll probably do like a little time lapse of this whole shenanigans, but I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done today, or at least started, um, and I just thought it'd be a fun little at home work day kind of vlog situation, so let's do it. Okay, so that was fun. I also wrote in my journal. Um, if you hear something loud in the background, it is the little vacuum cleaner thing doing its stelio. But I wrote in my journal, I had it for like maybe a week or two. Wait, yeah, almost two weeks. I felt like I had been doing a really good job of keeping up with it. But I looked and the last time I had written in it was January 30th. So I just gave a little update to that of everything that had happened. Um, it's amazing how time really gets away from you. I'm just making my coffee now. Oh, my coffee's almost done and I'm gonna take this wellness shot. I have it in this bottle of kombucha. Um, just cause the bottle's cute. I need to peel off the label. It's really stuck on there though. But anyways, um, I've been doing this every morning and also putting this in my veggies when I like saute them up super good um so what i have in here is just like half apple cider vinegar half lemon juice cayenne pepper red pepper black pepper garlic um i was supposed to put turmeric in but for some reason i didn't have any which is surprising it might just be um like in the studio because sometimes we do cooking stuff over there anyways i've been taking a shot of this every morning and I was seeing people on TikTok say that doing this as like a replacement for alcohol is a good idea if you're trying to stop drinking so much alcohol um, because it gives you the same like ritual feeling that you get when you're taking a shot with a group of people and if it burns and is spicy like this is it's gonna, you know, give you the same like, ooh, ow, ah, ooh, that was so rough, you know, kind of feeling that you get when you take a shot. So, um, one, I wanted to do it just because wellness in the morning, I feel like, you know, just adding stuff like that in is good. Two, because of the ritual aspect that I heard on TikTok, and um, when we go on tour, I want to not drink a lot of alcohol so that I don't feel like crap the entire time. And I feel like this would be a good replacement if I want to like join in on the fun with everybody but not do it with alcohol, you know what I'm saying? You know, still get to go around in the circle and be like, yay, cheers, and do whatever, but um, I feel like this will save me. So cheers, Niha.
so it's definitely spicy. You really don't need a lot of garlic in there either. <laughs> it like bites you afterwards, but um, you do not need a lot of garlic. I think I put in like half of a tablespoon of chopped garlic. Um, and the taste is very prevalent. I made this up like last week and I'm, you can't really tell in here, but I'm like this far down. So about halfway, I would say. So I'm probably gonna make one of these up and bring it on tour um, just to have with. And then I've been drinking my coffee, which is just black coffee right now, but I'm gonna add in cinnamon and nutmeg. Now I'm just gonna add homemade whipped cream. And I'm actually hungry now, but I'm feeling lazy, like I don't want to cook anything. So I made ramen last night, and this is the leftovers, and I think I'm just going to heat it up and have it. Um, I definitely usually like non-breakfast foods for breakfast the best. Okay, I just got dressed. I put on a little bit of makeup. I just put on this romper. Vintage, one of my more favorite kind of comfy pieces to work from home. So yeah, I'm just having my coffee and I think I'm gonna go start brainstorming some stuff for the shop. Before I do that though, I also wanted to show you all, I've been working on painting this base. So I went, if you're not on TikTok or Instagram, I'll tell you the story. I have been watching this base since the summertime at a pawn shop. And I wanted it so, so, so bad. I was trying like literally everything I could to get it, but then I also was fostering the cats, and so I just didn't really have any extra money. Um, and somehow it came up in conversation between Andrew and I when he was um, home last, and we were trying to decide what we were gonna do for Valentine's Day because we had to celebrate it earlier together since he's gone on Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. Um, and he was like, well, why don't we go to the pawn shop and see if that base is still there? And so we did. It was still there. We got it. She's so gorgeous. I painted her and I'm almost finished. I think there's a few details that I want to add, but I just want to talk before I show the reveal of the front. I'm going to paint the back yet. Um, and then there's just, like I said, a few details that I want to finish on the front. But I'm really excited. It's my first Daisy Rock base, um, and they're like made to be a little bit smaller and lighter so that they're easier for women to carry and they like, you know, work better with the female proportions, or at least typical female proportions. Um, that's one of my biggest issues with my bases is that they're just so heavy and big. I really like the Gretsch base that I have because it's much smaller and lighter but the sound just kind of suffers I feel like. So these are meant to be smaller and lighter for women. It really is so much lighter. I'm super excited too because it has active pickups in it. So this is my first guitar with active pickups. I'm excited to see what that's about. I have to change the strings yet because there's still round wounds on here which I do not like at all. Yeah the, the guy at the pawn shop was like trying to sell it and I don't know if you could just tell from our outfits that we like like 60s and 70s stuff, but he was like, it's a 70s guitar. And I already had it in my mind that I was gonna buy it, so that wasn't really a selling point for me, but like an idiot, I believed him and thought that he knew what he was talking about and put it in my TikTok that it was a 70s bass. Anyways, it didn't really matter because I wasn't buying it because it was 70s, but I thought that that was really funny that he had no idea apparently what he was talking about. Um, so anyways, I painted it and here she is. I'm gonna paint on the back like I said. I have like a little message to write. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of going to town on this for like mm, a couple days, blah, 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 doing whatever. And it's so cool because the fretboard has stars. And if you know me, I've been wearing this necklace for like several years now, probably like since 2018. I really don't know the exact time, but I got it from the thrift store. A lot of people ask, so I'll just say that now. I got it from the thrift store. It was originally gold when I got it, and now it's silver because, like I said, I just wear it all the time. So it rubbed off, but 
Isn't this so cute and cool? There's just a few things that I want to add, um, just to, like tie in these end pieces that I think could use a little extra. And then I'm going to just do a tiny little bit on the headstock. Um, and then the back, I'm going to write my message on there. But that's my new vase before I get going with everything. Actually, I have some clothes here that I'm going to put away too before I go and get started with my work. I was kind of telling you guys about these things in my last video. Um, I got some stuff from my friend Tess's sale. She has a vintage clothing store called The Costume Crowd. And I got a couple things. This is one of the things, like this micro mini red dress, which I think is so cute. Um, and it's got like this floral pattern. I don't know if it's showing up so well on the camera. I didn't really know in the live when I first bought it, but it was like such a fun surprise. So I wore this for our Valentine's Day when we went out. I literally got no pictures of myself. Um, I'm surprised that I took the very few pictures that I did, but I didn't take any photos of me, so use your imagination. Um, I wore that in like white go-go boots and these white tights. And then it's a micro mini dress, it's super short, so I just wore these like red bloomers underneath. And then here's that dress that I was telling you about that's kind of similar to the blue one that I got which sadly didn't fit, so it'll go to somebody else who will have a good time with it, I'm sure. But this is the dress, and it's so freaking gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. I almost wore this one out to Valentine's Day, but then I was like, we're gonna be in a bar, I'm gonna have to be lifting up the skirt a lot to pee, I'm gonna also have a jacket with me, like, if it was summertime, it'd be a lot easier to, number one, go to the bathroom in this because you're not carrying like a jacket and a million other layers. And also it was going to be kind of cold, I was thinking, because like your whole neck area, decolletage area would be showing. And that I feel like is where I get the coldest. So I'm waiting for a warmer day to wear this anyways. and. If not before tour, I'm definitely taking it on tour, and um, it is one of my costumes that I have planned for one of the shows. So, yeah, here she is. She's so cute. I'm gonna put these away now. We are in my creative room, my whatever room, the sun room, um, and I'm basically just pulling out all of the items that I have to do stuff with so that I know what I'm working with and I'm pulling out things that are inspiring me and I'm just putting them to the side um, for like this next batch of clothes that I do off of like a certain concept so that's what I'm doing currently Okay, so I basically have everything out hanging around that I'm going to be sprucing up for the shop. Um, I also kind of was brainstorming what I'm going to be doing to each item. Nothing's set in stone. I feel like I kind of figure out what I want as I'm doing it. So I just started with getting like a starting point for everything. Um, and then I went and had some yogurt. My stomach really hurts, so I don't know where that came from. So I'm just gonna like make myself some tea, I think, and then get working on a couple of the pieces. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much because I like it to be a surprise. Um, so sorry, I'm kind of being vague about everything, but look how cute Whiskey is. It is dinner time. Yes, that's right, Birch. Yeah. Yeah, are you hungry? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna feed them and then I'm gonna make some raviolis. I am boiling water in a saucepan because uh, my... My bigger pots are dirty, so yeah, I this'll work. I don't need that much water, so 
Cheers, but that's what I'm doing. I feel like I got a good head start on everything today and yeah, I'm gonna eat and then just sit and bead a little more probably on like a neck piece that I'm making for myself. Okay, dinner was great. I'm still not feeling 100%. So I think I'm gonna take a bath and like just chill for a little bit and see if that helps like my cramps. Um, yeah, having a little sucker. I organized them because I'm kind of getting down to the end of this giant box of suckers that I got. So I organized them by color. That way I can make sure to finish my least favorite ones first. So just the end is absolute bliss. Okay, so I washed my face, I got it in the tub, I got some ice cream, and now I'm just going to beat this little like neck ribbon, head ribbon kind of thing that I made for myself today and watch a movie or something, I'm not really sure, but basically just chill. So this is the end of my night, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you all enjoyed the video, I hope you're all doing well. Send in lots of love and I'll catch you in the next one.